Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. So I made a video on how to install the software to play Blu-ray and DVD on a Pinebook, Pinebook Pro. And I realized that I did install uh, the encryption for Blu-ray, but I didn't install it for DVD. And apparently you do have to install it also separately for DVD. Last time I showed you I was able to play the DVD from June, that infamous widescreen release. And apparently that release was not protected. So you don't need the encryption. Well, you can ignore this message. And just to show you, we'll start VLC again. And we'll open the disk, it's a DVD. We'll say play. And there it is. Well, you might wonder why some DVDs don't have the protection. Well, one of the reasons is that they actually have to pay to get the protection on the disc. And with some of the smaller releases, then probably they thought like, well, the risk is not that big that it gets ripped and uploaded to the internet and I think also with uh, through the years they also realized that the protection was quite weak and it was really easy to circumvent it so at that point yeah, some companies they probably thought it's not worth the money anymore. Now, just if we go back in time, and I think it's around the year 2000, and one of the big hits on DVD was the first part of The Matrix. At the time, that was from the Wachowski brothers. Nowadays, with they're working on a new Matrix part, and now it's by the Wachowski sisters. And around the year 2000, back in those days, they really trusted the protection on the DVDs. So, I think in those years, all the DVDs came with protection. Well, this is not part of the protection, I think that you can install the UDF file system to get rid of this message, but it's not really that important. And we'll start VLC again. And so just one minute ago we were able to play Dune. And here you see it tries to do something and then it stops. Unfortunately, you don't get to see an error message, but it's because of the encryption. Now, the people behind VLC, they have a page where they tell you how to install libdvd CSS. So We'll follow the instructions. Oh, oops. I have the Synaptic Package Manager still open, so I have to close it. And that removes the lock. And there it goes. Oh, 
else sure we'll just click OK OK and as it's set oops, we also have to do this command yep that's fine So I think at the moment it's building the libdvd CSS software. And it's done. So when we start VLC now, and when we try to play that same DVD of the Matrix. And now it does play. And as you can see, it was really simple to install the libdvd CSS. And now it should be possible to play all the DVDs that are available and play it without any problem on the Pinebook Pro. That's it for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.